Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm back from my, my short trip to see my daughter down in Atlanta, and it was a beautiful trip. I did get sick, so it was a bit of downtime the, the past couple days. Um, but overall, it was a really nice time. And on Saturday, we went to see a shaman. We went out into the woods, and uh, it was pouring rain, and we crawled across the creek to sit on a big stone and did our meditation, so it was really nice. And then actually I found uh, walking back because it was raining, we didn't have our shoes on. We had to walk over a lot of uh, pebbles in the pathway, which you know eventually hurts, but then you'd go through little puddles which would feel really good and back and forth. But I feel like that's part of why the cold came out. I think it was coming on before that anyway, but that's like, you know, all your acupuncture points are in your feet. So I think it was actually uh, a, a really good thing that it came up. Um, and I think that that contributed to some of the release that I'm going through right now. So I have two reads for you for the Divine Masculine Twin Flames. And we'll see if we get to the Oracle cards or not. I'm still not full speed yet, so let's see how it goes. It is June 12, 2019. And 12 is the Hangman. It's all about wisdom, saying staying still to see new perspectives in the situation. Um, the day adds up to the 30, which is the Four of Wands, which is the Union card. It's about stability and structure. And um, it can be celebrations and weddings as well, marriages. But uh, very much about... could be just hanging out at home today. Or um, seeing new perspectives about your home. Maybe you're thinking about doing some work on your home. But as we get into the read, the first read was done actually last night, but going into today. It was done uh, before 10 p.m. last night, so it was really for today. Um, and that was done at 9.47 to 48, the 47 and 48 being the 7 and 8 of Cups. The 7 of, of synchronicities and having options and heaven in their eyes, and then the 8 of walking away and within to find that missing piece, that part of you. So the first read was um, the only major arcana were reason and abundance, and that's the Syrian starseed deck. And reason is the emperor, and abundance is the empress. So it was very much clear about the emperor and the empress. So that was an interesting read, and that's why I wanted to bring it up. It's not a real long one. Um, the, the second one's a little bit longer. Um, karma was also there underneath the underlying energy, which is like the judgment card. There were four pentacles, three wands, two swords, and one cup. The court cards were Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and then the after the read card was the Page of Cups, so two knights, two pages. The numbers were 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, 7, 1. 1 was the number on the code line. Uh, yeah, 67, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 36. That was it for the numbers. And 66 is the Queen of Pentacles, 1 the Magician, and 67 is the Knight of Pentacles. So we have the Knight and Queen of Pentacles there. And then 36, which is the Ten of Wands, which is dropping the burdens, confession, that kind of thing, working too hard. Um, and the heart has been coming up too. Um, that'll come up in this read, but before I forget, I wanted to say I noticed that I, bo I broke both pinky nails today. Like one was not today, but the other one broke today. So I was noticing today that both were broken. So it has something to do with the heart line and my nails were broken, so there's some kind of break, okay, or breakthrough, okay? There's definitely a message there. And is there something else? And I was just getting like a lot of catch up and clean up for me today. So the code line for the first read was all about pride and teaching and learning. Ka came up, which is your, your life force, your spirit, your soul as well as the Seeker of Flames, which is the Page of Wands, the, the excitable child, the teenager who's excited to go out on a date, to be inspired. And that very much matches with the pride in teaching and learning, because it can be a child, um, a student. Uh, the message coming through there was, uh, could be a cad, like an, a cad, the literal meaning is an ill-bred man, dishonorable towards women. Um, so that could be coming up in this code line as well. Uh, that there's like a CAD test coming up for the masculine, maybe for himself. Is he going to behave that way, or can he um, be discerning when dealing with other people? Are they really in his highest good or not? Uh, so the Ka, or the soul department, 
the AD or the after death, after the death of a relationship maybe, the test. Are you going to let them come in again and do the same old, same old? Are you going to repeat your patterns? Um, I was also getting at birth. So just as AD, after death, I was also getting at birth. And the abs having to do with birth, you know, and pushing the child out. But I was getting one excited, one excited boy, okay, as, as far as the Divine Masculine. Also, CAD was coming up, which has to do with um, heart disease. But literally, coronary came up, and the medical definition of it encircling in the manner of a crown, which I thought was kind of cool for the journey. And also, the CAD test... Um, And also, what was I getting? I didn't write everything down, and I thought I did. Cad and what is the word I'm looking for? There's something about um, someone's lowering their rank or getting humbled by somebody else, all right? So it's that same excitable boy. So if they're not discerning about people, they may actually get humbled. Um, a heading that came up was, uh, something that came up under the heading was silence the world from 2013 in the aftermath and also dark clouds came up and that was from napalm records and that was a youtube uh, title um, and black veins came up as well as one of their songs so just some dark energy that was coming up and definitely with the heart some people having heart issues and then with my heart stuff coming up with my pinkies today there's somebody definitely maybe having physical heart issues like maybe having a uh, calf pest or um may have had, um, someone may have bypass surgery. I think that comes up in this read too. So I'm going to get right into it. So the Knight of Pentacles comes up as the underlying energy with karma beneath it, like this from the Syrian Starseed deck. So that's how we started out, okay, with karma beneath it. So the Knight of Pentacles with karma behind him has a proposal to offer. The Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles Travel to Angel prior to an offer of a new life at the full moon, which is coming up, I believe it's June 17th. So also preparing at the new, the past new moon. There was some preparing going on. Doing back-breaking work, and then suddenly explosion, rupture, Leo rushed to Angel. Leo packing to travel off the beaten path, patiently. Leo in Egypt or desert or deserted Sag Sagittarius Angel patiently waiting. Beast with their tail between their legs, humbling self to take one more step, cowering about going forward. Leo and Sag, or a Leo Sag person, riding alone now but needs encouragement. Um, there's a destiny here to be schooled by the truth. The Divine Master may feel that way. But of triumph and breaking through the crown, which was coming up as the coronary as well. Um, and I'm also seeing a birth where someone's actually delivering a, the crown of the child. Um, dethroning, a dethroning by the sword and chariot. Um, street, car name, desire came up as well as aligning with a third party. Gossip, also aligning with gossip and or overindulgence. On the rampage at work, checking logs and rechecking, making corrections or benched. Redoing like an assembly line work. Uh, a cancer making their presence known, or cancer could actually be making its presence known. Presence known. A puppet show is coming up as well as a block party. A staged performance, and that could be literal or figuratively. Driving to work, overindulging. Someone needing an ambulance for a triple bypass, if that was coming up. Or broke their crown driving drunk to work or speeding. Suddenly with angels or a, proposed, or a proposal of a higher love to a third party, 
The romantic feelings came up for the masculine as well as wedding beneath that, which means that the situation involves marriage. The big boar can't hide. Their tail is up and tackled under palm. Leo may be conceited, showing off new lips or boobs or butt. Flowers for Al Algernon came up, which is about a mouse um, that they got surgery to, to increase their intelligence. And the movie was about the first human used to test this out, named Charlie Gordon. And so it dealt with the treatment of the mentally disabled and all of the, the subtleties and, and uh, issues in, in doing that kind of experimentation. So that was important here. So there may be somebody in that situation right now. And Spirit was connecting with me when I was talking about that. The movie I watched last night was called Rock My Heart, which then brought up a girl who had coronary issues. So it's so funny because I wrote that stuff down before I turned the movie on. Um, and she was riding horses as well. And horses have been coming up like crazy for me the last month. So um, cardiac arrhythmias, all that kind of stuff is coming up around the heart. Um, and the author of Flowers for Algernon actually worked with uh, kids with special needs. So the ideas for the movie came from some of the stuff he worked with. And that was at 1038, which is the Queen of Cups. Using your intuition. Peace comes in by putting the truth aside. And remember, in, tr in justice, it's always about, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? In being distanced from a 5D lover, when naked in your truth, there's no armor, no sword. Whether having sex or not talking, you're always putting the truth aside the masculine is doing that to lie to himself. His only truth in his, is with his 5D lover. So as long as he's denying that, it's just coming up that he's not in his truth, no matter how much he wants to deceive himself. Um, if things coming up like uh, the masculine may have even tried to spice up his sex life in his partnership, having sex in the yard, but can't stop thinking of separation from 5D lover and dragonfly at the water's edge, tulips and flowers at window and health came up again so there's another thing about the heart health came up number 71 which is three of pentacles so it has to do with working too much and then intuition came up beneath that which is number 22 which is the fool with the open heart taking a leap of faith so the knight of pentacles reverse is coming up here refusing to move or just not working while the page of pentacles is the lookout with two gold feathers in their cap. One may be a good student and one good at being lazy or just still or stubborn. Success, attention, good news and leading the way in a traffic jam where a female is irritated, kind of looking over going, what the F? And there may have been an accident, okay? So it could have been her cursing somebody out due to overindulgence. And then I was getting Jasmine which was interesting because when I was at the grocery store with my daughter, the, ja the jasmine rice came up. So there may be a clearing out of someone or rushing them to the hospital. So someone definitely may have been in a car accident. Um, I was getting platinum and gold fillings. So also the dentist is coming up or a tooth knocked out. Maybe it was knocked out in an accident or too much attention at a party last night. And it's now throwing up. Getting attention for driving people nuts also um, at Cirque du Soleil or people having rebelled against you all right so there may be an uprising of the mask and of his people are coming against him and then the party's over okay so that was coming up and then also Jasmine at a strip club so somebody may be stripping to make some extra money and no one else knows about it stripping for bucks or someone stealing attention away from sassy Jasmine or stealing the show. A female is pissed and on the warpath. Or a kid's drunken party, because we have prom, graduation, and all that kind of stuff, those kind of parties. Drinking and driving, or third party is driving him crazy, romantic feelings in the 5D world, and health issues going on. Recently, the mask I'm walking away within from devil imbalance of working and possibly drinking as well not sharing and in debt or gambling possibly for some um the foundation here let me 
We missed a couple here. So this was in the recent past, the Six of Crystals, okay? There was definitely an imbalance going on. And now we have the Foundation of the Emperor, which is the Reason card. And you see he's extending a false hand there. So the Emperor Lover deliberating unhappiness without his lover. Centrally is the flame. Awake and aroused, inspired. And then weak and depressed connected to the Divine Feminine and reaping rewards. So kind of a back and forth feeling. You know, one minute good and the next minute they're weak and purging. Um, but the challenge being the masked boy with the burning desire, knowing they're ungrounded when they're not connected. The magician guide, also could be Virgo and Taurus, a partner emperor and Justice, or Judge, or Libra, and the Emperor could be Aries as well, um, presently expressing feelings in a heated exchange, aroused or aligned. And I was getting 3.5, or half. Whistleblower, having a shingle over being God and the Magician at the same time. So it's like someone wanting to hang a shingle over solving everybody's problems, right? The Magician and God. So some of the Divine Masters may be feeling like God. They may be a little bit arrogant at this time. So now um, in the present, in the crowning position, is the E-Tower, which I see as the Divine Feminine's heart, but it's also about reaping your rewards, being present. You know, you get to a certain level, you can take a little break and enjoy yourself, but not forever because you're going to have to go back to work. Um, I turned the page, it was 1140, about justice in the Page of Cups which is all about that innocent love, opening your heart and the justice of it. So this is the crowning the reed. And the, the Queen of Cups avoiding looking back or going back as negative past comes up and letting go, rising above, not sleeping, didn't express feelings in his, maybe the mass, some of the masses didn't express feelings in their family, so that's coming up here. Um, giving up the King of Swords and burning the past with the Divine Feminine's heart. He's, some of them may realize that they hurt her and his super, by his superhero ways, um, the High Priestess Angel. The King of Swords, third party, and a new life transformation going on here. Soon is the Three of Pentacles, the Trinity card. Workplace moving to manifest. And I was getting love rain on me and that's not the first time that's come up so love rain on me came up and then the sun came up in the chariot and expo an exposure to a bold move sharing at night magic and god night and day sharing the traveling show he is the knight of wands over loss and defenseless to energies as the cavalry comes in okay so this is how he's seeing himself here the Knight of Wands, over the loss, but defenseless to energies, as that cal cavalry comes in, can't talk here, the Knight of Cups and backup arrive to help. Engagement came up, forgiving and learning, passion, and this could be the one. Around the masculine, or how he is seen, is the Abundance card, or the Empress, and this and the Knight of Wands, really, both of those cards showed up in the second read as well. So the Empress is wide open, showing how, showing their high hand, right, their high vibration, dumping a load with another, or spreading the word and finding peace in it, a message of peace. The master needs to clear blocks of, I hope it's not too late, and that was this, actually the song in the movie that was playing as I wrote this down. He needs to clear blocks, and then this movie with the lyrics were going. It was 12.07. I hope I'm not too late. So it was just after midnight. Um, but the blocks about knowing, of recovering amidst a King of Cups reversed and a Queen of Wands reversed, surrounded by non-believers. Pride came up for the master as well as teaching and learning, but even more so financial discipline. Possibly hung up on protecting themselves, so this is what they need to, uh, the blocks they need to clear, staying in their knowing. 
or being in their knowing, trusting themselves. And then the last two cards came up were the um, Six of Orbs and then the Page of Cups. Right afterward is the card after the wreath. Okay, so there's a lot of peace and love here. So hung up on protecting themselves to find peace, possibly out on a date, free from destiny of the wounded warrior, happy family in prison. So, you know, that's a little bit of contradiction there. Happy family in prison, but that's what the situation's like. The Page of Cups cracks their heart open wide as the sovereign lost child or miscarriage, purge, after out drinking perhaps. So somebody, there's a couple different scenarios and if it doesn't resonate with you, don't make it fit. There could have been a miscarriage or an accident where someone lost their child. Someone may have been drinking and lost their child. Someone may have done something stupid and gotten a car accident and lost a child. But this is coming up. Um, definitely um, a miscarriage or a lost child but it also could be someone's inner child, you know. But there's a purge after out drinking. Someone may have been really upset drinking and then crying and then doing something stupid, okay? Um, overwhelmed, dumped, miscarriage coming out with pain, betrayal, and ending the pain of marriage and starting over in love. The King of Wands comes out on top, all right? So whatever happened, the King of Wands comes out on top here. And then lyrics were coming up from the movie, You Steal My Sleep at Night. And that was at 12.49 this morning, after midnight. The Knight of Pentacles offers the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. They make an offer to them. They sweep in. It's like the Knight of Pentacles is offering to the Emperor. The Knight of Wands is sweeping in for the Empress, covering both bases a basement so it can reference a basement but also a basement so somebody might be staying in their parents basement or in their home in the basement if they're separated sharing passion and or flame the challenge being the masked boy with the flame coming together at work in their knowing the divine feminine's heart of peace and love the knight of pentacles shares with the emperor his passion of the divine feminine's heart challenged by him being boyish and shy the Knight of Wands, passionate about work for peace, and the Empress in their knowing of peace and love for him, the Divine Masculine. The Emperor is coming up as loving the Divine Feminine. Kids plot, may be plotting to bring them together for peace and love. And that's it for that one. Um, the signs here, underlying energy, were Capricorn upright, Cancer upright and reversed, Sagittarius upright, Aries upright, Gemini upright, Libra, Pisces, no, Libra, upright. The ones that were re reversed are Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius. Yeah, that's the underlying energy. And in the body of that read, the ones that were reversed were Aquarius, Leo, and Virgo. The ones that were upright and reversed were Pisces, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, Aries, I'm not sure which direction it was. And Libra, actually. But Libra was upright in the pre. Aries was also upright in the underlying. Um, and Sagittarius was upright. I know that was a little bit of, little bit PC, but there was definitely some stuff coming through that I wanted to make sure I touched on, which were the accidents and the heart issues and that kind of thing. So just give me a second, and I'm going to pull up the cards for the second read. Hold on. Okay, so here's the second read. This second read for the Divine Mass and Twin Flames was done at this morning at 9.34 to 35 a.m. The first one was done p.m. This is a.m. at 9.34, basically. Three fours were coming up constantly in the beginning of this read. Three, four, five, and three, four, three, four. The number three was the main number, but also going to four as well. So all about the emperor and the empress, which came up in the first read, the three and the four. Makes sense. So for the second read, anything else that we want to come up here um, the major arcana here were the star seed which is like the fool abundance like the empress star ascension which is the world and then chariot there were three wands one pentacles two swords the queen of wands and the knight of wands were the only two court cards that came up for this read uh, the numbers and the coding line were all about love partnership 
and the numbers were 2, 3, 4, 5, that sequence, as well as the number 7, 9, 10, 973, uh, like I said, 3 and 10 also, and then 13, 20, and 29. 13 is the death card, 20 judgment, and 29 is the three of wands. Um, I looked up some headers, but I'm not going to go into that much since I'm doing two of these. The code line of the love partnership was all about the Empress in abundance and Gaia. Um, a show of power by Jesus on behalf or in the name of the Divine Masculines. As the Divine Feminines come up as the Empress and the fish of Jesus or threefold here. A night of like clear street, like all clear, like when you're shocking the heart, all clear, like we're on clear street as far as abundance, which also is the BUN dance, which is the uh, clearing uh, of the physical body. Okay, so my cold is like a clearing of the physical body. As the 10th love partnership was coming up. The 10th is about the high vibe to the nth degree. So very high vibration, cl vibrational clearing here. Or the hermit or the collective consciousness in the seventh re, which is shaman, or seventh ray. And then I was also getting FOL, which is a, an abbreviation for the first order of logic, which was kind of cool. Um, it also stands for faith, optimism, and love. And medically, it comes up as a leaf. Also, FOLA came up, F-O-L-A, which stands for Fly Over L-A. Friends of Lake Apopka, which is, breaks down to A, Pop, and Ka again. So again, the soul. Um, and that's in Florida. So it was a, um, an association to help clean up that lake because it was once a fishing paradise and is now very polluted in Florida and also FOLA came up in West Virginia. It's also the Festival of Light and Art in New Zealand. So getting right into into um, this read I want to do just I don't want to tell you just the first coding that came up when I put it in online. It was the History 2, Unit 3, and the flashcards of Quizlet. <coughs> Sorry. It just said, is the name of three distinct past and present, far right, and then the numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, as references were coming up, organizations in the U.S. which have advocated extremist reactionary currents, such as white supremacy, white nationalism, anti-immigration, Historically expressed through terrorism, which came up with the number nine, the KKK, also anti-communist. I opened this up and something else caught my eye from September 9, 1919, and that was the Boston police strike. And the governor was Calvin Coolidge at the time. Also, prosperity, abundance, and a money spell, part one came up. And Knight of the Sun, or Prince Adept, that was from Sacral. Uh, or excuse me, um, sacred-text.com, um, noting that three also referred to harmon harmony, friendship, peace, concord, temperance, and highly esteemed amongst the Pythagoreans, meaning perfect harmony. Uh, the numbers three, four, ten, and twelve came up, up under that heading as sacred to Etrurians, and then. Uh, Yaganadga, yeah, yeah, I can't even say it. I can't talk today anyway. I don't know what it is about this. It's partly my cold, but it's something else too. The communication's off for sure today. Yaganadha, the tantric view of life, minimal effort and maximum pleasure. And then high magic also came up, the elemental adept, hermetic Kabbalah. So getting right into this read, and the numbers came up at the beginning of this read, 17 and 97, and their reflections. So 17 and 71, 97 and 79. So the rising up, the seven of flames and the nine of orbs were the first cards in the underlying energy, okay, like this. This is the Syrian starseed deck, the nine of orbs. You can see the whole card there, okay. 
So rising up from the heat to tango, bow and arrow, choose the one from above, a vantage point, targeting the flame, div the divine feminine, the star of the eight and reflection of the pot of gold, number seven. The emperor receives love and hermit sheds light on the flame or the light of the divine feminine. Rising from the purge, the 4D bridge, shamed about the past, coming out of this purge, the Knight of Wands positions himself above the third energy. And I went to write above and it said about. So the Knight of Wands positions himself about the third energy of the lovers seen as the devil, him getting younger by the minute, a teenager excited to have sex for the first time, innocent yet thinking it's wrong, Yet how can it be wrong if it feels so right? Dark lovers chained together, then angelic lovers free to be themselves and make a mountain out of a molehill if they choose to. The lovers, the lovers stuck between the devil above and a long line of lizards below, all about animalistic sex. The monkey in the middle of the dark and the ETs, how to know the difference. After the purge, lovers rise. The Page of Wands reversed is uninspired, giving up, rejected, and dejected as the full moon false light approaches on June 17th to connect with their lover in the 5D on that date. So it's definitely coming up as time for the masculines to go within, to stay out of the false light, and meditate to connect with the 5D and the feminine at the full moon. So they're not subjected to the full moon energies. While the wolves are howling at that full moon, or in other words, reactionary, time for twins to hibernate to 5D connection. Cationary. And cation is a, posi a positively charged ion, or being in need of something, to magnetize the an anion. And the, the cation is, is metal, the anion, or a nion is a non-metal um, that is negatively charged. So it's basically satiated, not in need of. So the masculine coming up here is in need of relaxation, or in other words, a vacation, <laughs> rejecting the false light to let in source light. And then this was a friend of mine called, but it just came up unknown number, so I didn't answer it. So there's something about, um, don't just assume if it's unknown, it's a negative surprise, because it may just be a good one, because this was, it was someone I was, I very much would like to talk to. This could be the one, came up for the mask, and underneath that was soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. On the, tackling the beast for a new life, possibly on a beach under the palm, or, or just that new life for the King of Swords. I have to read this again. Tackling the beast on the beach or under a palm, or for a new life, or allowing Leo to take him down. For King of Swords, which he does not want, Crossing the family with ankles and my toes, resting on laurels, or grounding new passion by burning the past. And then X11, X111 came up. So it's like 12 and then 13. But specifically in the Roman numerals, X11 and then X and three ones. And 12 and 13, okay, so 12, 12 is, came up already as the hangman and the wisdom in the first read, and then 13, of course, with the transition and the death card, but the two add together to 25, which is the Knight of Wands, which came up in both reads, which is important here, which is the passionately riding in, you know, getting busy physically. Um, third party hostage, leaving behind the Y, so Y of the Y chromosome, but also the Y, the questions Y of the past, instead of leaving that, you know, burning and burning the past, you have to leave those questions behind and birthing new passion. The divine mask and imagining all parts of the feet, ankles, knees, and butt, padding 
and soul and the feminine's ability to create without being tempted to use the sword on him. Can she do that? Um, karmic completion came up for the masculine as the underlying energy from the numerology deck, and that's number 10. And underneath that was adventure, which was number 55, the ace of swords or the truth. So we have the destiny of the 10 and the truth of the 55. They're both ones though, which is very strong, masculine, independent energy. The wild horse bucking her off, but then under house arrest. The knight of cups purges outwardly as opposed to the divine feminine who purges inwardly. Leo out of control and vengeful and manipulative. There's very yucky energy coming up around this energy. It was literally the queen of wands reversed, the Leo card reversed, or the strength card reversed, and then the magician reversed. Very negative, okay? So Leo out of control, vengeful, manipulative, queen of wands reversed, um, but not showing their hand. She may come up as the poker face of the empress with ring and ruby cross and chastity belt with astrological charts all around her, like trying to make herself look this way. But it also could be trying to make everyone believe she's okay with something so they'll be off guard when she really wants to get her revenge. So just be discerning about this. Or this empress could be someone separate. <coughs> it could be the divine feminine who she's having, who wants vengeance against, or it could actually be a mother who's who's trying to protect her, or covering her, or covering for her. She's trying to let this Queen of Wands reversed wants them to think that the worst is over, so they become vulnerable. The best time for attack. I'm getting orange, red, Chinese silks came up as well as three black birds leaving the group. The Divine Feminine sees four birds fly across the sun, or someone at the casino or dark performance, and that could just be something as, as you know, like Cirque du Soleil, that kind of thing. Um, Bambi finds the Divine Masculine stuck to the ceiling of grass, trying to prevent leaks, or listening, listening in under knife, so someone's threatened him, so he's listening in to hear what they're saying, or someone's threatening him to listen in on purpose, or he could be under oath. So somebody actually could be wired, and obviously that's not going to be for everyone, but somebody could be. Um, but definitely the mouse coming up innocent in all of this. So he might have gotten pulled into something, not of his free will, but in order to not get um, associated with the situation or even indicted, um, he may have to do something like that. And it could be legal or it could just be family-wise. Um, somebody could be threatening him. The underlying signs were coming up here. Leo reversed, Gemini reversed, Virgo upright, Taurus upright, Aries upright, Capricorn upright, Cancer upright, and Pisces reversed. So watch out for the Leo, Gemini, Pisces reversed. That was just the underlying energies. So a magic show comes up. Now you see it, now you don't. The ringleader is female, causing destruction and despair all around her. Mother knows best, but the emperor is rising above the heat due to divine love offer and new passionate growth and karmic completion. Recently, for the masculine, is that Queen of Wands, okay? But she was coming up reverse for sure in that underlying energy. She's coming up as the abuser and the thief, charging with a vengeance, her truth, her truth this time. Or divine masculine making a getaway from verbal abuse or nasty words to possible issue or announcement or warning that the Queen of Wands is on the warpath. The foundation for the masculine is the workplace, and the DEA came up here for someone. Obviously that's not going to be for everyone, but for someone it's coming up. So here's the workplace and the foundation. DEA, 3D, or DA also coming up at the workplace for the masculine. A death walk to being over this loss. Eclipse of the heart, complete transformation, Scorpio energy. So watch out for that Scorpio sting if that's in that Queen of Wands. Centrally, a big download or a bomb dropped out of nowhere. The King of Wands rushes in to right the Divine Feminine's world as the Knight of Cups comes in from above with insecurities and no options. So it's like the um, Divine Feminine's in between 
and the Knight of Wands comes in from one side, and then the Knight of Cups comes in from above, and he's got insecurities. The King of Cups, separate from these two, about I themselves on what the star can do for him. Although the King of Cups does come up upright in the read. He's still about himself. And often um, a father, boss, or father-in-law figure was coming up for the Mass all the time as the King of Cups, so it could be this person who also, I think, was had, had Aquarius in him, but I think that comes up in here as well. And in this part of the read, in the central part, comes up Aries upright, Pisces reversed, Gemini reversed, Taurus and Aquarius upright, Sagittarius upright, Leo upright and reversed, Capricorn upright, Libra reversed, and then Scorpio upright and reversed. Um, the King of Cups about I on what the star can do for him. The challenge being for the masculine abundance, the Empress saying goodbye to five out of eight in a payout, burdened by destiny. The masculine may feel alone again, naturally. May, he may just feel like that's his destiny. But the battle is over between Aquarius and Sag, or Sag surrounded by the King of Cups, Aquarius, and the King of Pentacles, Aquarius stars in their own right. Um, the crowning glory, the truth, the breakthrough, the mask, and the unknown, the surprises. Now crowning is the star. There's a lot of Aquarius here with the star. It came up three or four times actually in the same area. Now crowning is the star, healing, dreams come true. It did come up upright though. Egypt and music and Thailand also came up. An announcement, judgment, wake up call, or a call of the angels, patience, and patience, making a getaway, sick of the crap, and drain from all the attachments or conditions of the Empress times two, the Empress, big, and mini-me, two. Okay, so there could be two Empresses here. Could be an older person, a mother of the masculine, or a mother-in-law, a boss, whoever it is, and then the karmic could be the little Empress, or the daughter, or daughter-in-law, or who, who, whoever the empress is, okay? But they seem to be a lot alike. <coughs> so it could be a sister as well. And then there's three, three possibly to four, who think are stars of the show, He's, but he's called the masculine to a higher love. Aquarius Leo may be crying it out over third party, tugging on the masculine's heart strings, while the messenger of truth cracks the whip in front of the children or showing them how to fish by demonstration, or how to call for help in an emergency, or how to deal with a fire, in case if something ever happens to him. Cupid judges sweetly at the fair, while Silver Cup waits behind him, or the urn of the King of Pentacles and the truth about his death. The Queen of Wands, Scorpio, and Libra next to this, Aquarius, Aries, King of Cups, Sagittarius upright, Aquarius upright, but Leo reversed could be the Empress. Or Leo reversed with Taurus upright and Gemini reversed. So Leo and Gemini are both reversed, not a good combination. Um, that's And she's definitely come up, that could definitely be that Queen of Wands reversed. So it's not a good combination. The Empress upright could be a good disguise for the Queen of Wands reversed, Leo reversed, Gemini reversed, and Taurus questionable. She could be on the rampage. Three to four stars all in one place. Ego is a big problem here, as Leo, Aquarius, Sag, and Libra, Scorpio person. Empress, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. So like it was said, the Empress is coming up upright, actually times two. But it could be a separate person from the Queen of Wands, or it could be her be having her poker face on, like coming up like the Empress, but a whole nother story underneath. Um, the Queen of Pentacles being judged by Aquarius and Libra reversed. Um, there could be an Aquarius Libra crying, and she could be one of the Empresses, the Queen of Wands reversed. The Page of Pentacles, Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio, and the King of Cups, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, soon <coughs> the world, ascension and closure, stuck needing attention or frustrated and feeling a failure, taking a leap out of the rain to abundance and an open heart. Um, there could be Aries upright and Pisces there. New passion of the King of Wands 
there was a new passion for the King of Wands, but the King of Wands may have passed that up to see what else is going on in the world because it was behind him. The Empress walking away from Capricorn Libra or Aquarius or vice versa, the Divine Masculine walking away from the Empress. The Divine Masculine is coming up seeing himself as the Four of Orbs. So we had, um, in the near future was the um, Ascension card, the world, okay? And we also have karmic completion, the underlying energy there. So that's confirming the completion. And this is how he's seeing himself as the Four of Orbs. Dumping burdens and hard work to speak a little truth, spread news, or send message that the worst is over of the King of Pentacles reversed. Losing status and money, perhaps, and paying out all of his rewards, his savings, and now resting and meditating. So he may have decided just to pay out and leave the situation. Um, may have had a big loss, and what five out of eight, leaving behind five out of eight, came up behind, so more than half. But now resting and meditating, or just in a quiet place, maybe taking a vacation. Trust came up for the mask, as well as you deserve love and make an effort, or on vacation, possibly at a beach. Around him, or how he is seen, is the Knight of Wands. At work, sick, or coming to work without anyone knowing in order to connect with his flame. Clear blocks, the masculine, of pain or getting, or blocks about getting massages or treatments. Maybe some ma masculines are scared to be touched that way, that kind of thing, or we're told that men don't do that kind of thing. Um, but the King of Cups is hanging out alone wisely. Family is happy separately from that. And then the King of Swords upright with their secret out after ending a family cycle and now inspired for journey. Um, love partnership came up for him, but even more so moderation. And then the last card came up. So the card that he needs to clear, blocks about, is the Ten of Orbs. And then the final card, the Chariot, and then the Five of Orbs, I was also guided to pull up the next card, which is the Two of Flames right after that. So these came up at the end of the read like this. So the chariot, the five of orbs or swords, and the two of flames or the two of wands, okay? So saying goodbyes, making nice, and talking about where to go from here. The chariot comes in in a bold move or travel. The queen of wands amidst death, transformation, end, and justice and balance. Not knowing the true nature of her options or who to trust or talk to about the journey forward. The Queen of Cups going from the King of Wands, possibly to hard work in the aftermath, or trying to avoid them, boldly moving on, avoiding coming together with Libra perhaps, due to a Queen of Wands, Scorpio, or death or end of a new love, or because the Libra has a new love and is protecting her from the Scorpion stinger. The Queen of Wands looking back at Libra's instability or their move of home or she's not present for a move. Laying down swords um, for the Two of Flames coming in. Apologizing for the past of overindulgences and gossip and orchestrating giving money away or spending to fix marriage, church, establishment. Seeing synchronicities cost him or her to finally let go of a marriage. Finding a way to peace, stillness, an offer of new life to cancer to take her sovereignty, destined to triumph with the truth and alignment and stand up for each other. Rising from the heat at work, resting, taking a break to light passion without Leo at work or someone may be sick, taking a leap challenged by abundance and or the empress to get closure and end the pain to heal and go forward and apologize to twin. Rising past purge to deal with the Queen of Wands reversed and possibly a mother at work taking a leap to heal and shine light, challenged by the Empress and their open arms. Taking a break, rest vacation to wrap things up to completion. Get moving to release residual pain and aches on the road again. End of war within, not without flame. They will always remain. Okay, so that was the read for the masculine. And I'm going to show you the pics before I forget to do that. And maybe I'll just do some oracle cards now. 
I'm not up to doing a separate video post, so. All right, so let's see what we got here. I got some great pictures this morning, too. Of, this is kind of dark from last night, but this is the basic read from the first read. All right, a little dark. The other ones are lighter, though, because I took them this morning. And this is the full read for that, the first read. And I think this is the next one. Yeah, this is the second read, the basic cards. And then, let just make sure that's right. And this is the full read for that one, the second one. Okay. So this morning I got some great pictures and I want, I can't post this whole picture online because it'll cut off some of the circle that needs to be seen. But check this out. Like, look at the circle in the sky. This is just straight up from, I was out in the sun for a little bit before I went to run. Look at the circle in the sky. These clouds are really cool. Isn't that cool? I wanted to show you that. But also, um, the bugs again. I was like, I'm getting all these little bugs. They're all hanging out together. Like a baby dragonfly and a baby bee or wasp or something. And then a baby um, green fly. I don't know if there's more, but they're all different colors. So it's hard for me to tell what bugs what. But I'm going to show you like, um, like we have this one here. Okay. So he's obvious. And then we have uh, this guy. Look at him. All right, they're totally different. I don't know how many I have there, but there's like one picture where I have like four of them. Yeah, and they're not all the same. So it was really cool, like all these little babies hanging out together. What else was coming up this morning? Some birds flying too. All right, well, let's see what we have for the oracle cards. Before it gets too, too long. I haven't done these in a while. Okay, so the ascension deck. So everybody take a deep breath. It is, <coughs> excuse me. It is, what is today? Today is June, it's June 12, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concern. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And this is the Ascension deck. Okay. And we have the Sun and Pleiades. And then some more want to come out. So four more. And then the air at the bottom. And air came up. The word something with air. Air came up earlier today. So 12. And again, that's the hangman and wisdom. The affirmation being, I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. Breathe the air. <laughs> Especially since we're in Gemini still. So where are we? The 12th, you know, for another week or so, we're in Gemini. Um, the first card that came out was the sun. It's so important to get the, take in those rays of the sun while you can. You know, especially building up to the full moon. There's going to be a lot of energy around. The sun is the navel chakra of the universe. It radiates the divine mas masculine principles onto us. Choosing this card suggests that the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action, protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy excuse me, will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. Your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light, be true to yourself, and act decisively today. The affirmation is I radiate golden light and take decisive action today. So 
so be decisive. Um, the Pleiades also came up. I'm not going to read this too, just because I'll put it up so you can read it. That's number 16 of the Tower. So we have the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune Destiny card, and then the 16 of the Tower, and then we got four more cards. I'll tell you what cards. I'll show them to you. So it'll be six. It'll be two for the High Priestess, four of the Emperor, and then six for the Lovers, and then the air that we breathe. Okay, I'm just getting air supply. So Orion came up, 18. 18 is the moon, intergalactic council, 29. That came up as well in the codes. That's the three of wands. Um, Lord Maitreya, 30, which came up also. Four of wands, or the union energy, and then 34, which also came up as the time. Okay, St. Germain, and that's a seven. There's definitely repeats of numbers that came up already. Except for the moon. The moon wasn't coming up much other than talking about the full moon a lot. It's been coming up a lot, a lot in the cards this week. Um, let's see here. I'm going to call in St. Germain. We haven't talked to St. Germain in a while. St. Germain, is there anything for you? Anything that you want us to know? This June 12, 2019. For everybody watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And we are asking Saint Germain. Saint Germain. What is it we need to know? What is it we need to learn? Okay. Well, that's a nice message, and this is a bunch. Okay. So vows is at the bottom reversed. Okay. And just one card came up and then it's a pile for me to count. And one card is love life. Really nice. High vibration of the rose, okay? So keep your vibration high. You got the heart back there too. I didn't mean to give you the finger. <laughs> All right, and then this bunch came up. The top of the bunch says leaving or travel. That one comes up a lot for you guys. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we have justice. So we have eleven and then the one, which is twelve. And the other one we had twelve and thirteen. So justice and the hangman. Alright, so someone might get hung or be prosecuted. Someone may be hung out to dry in a good way. Justice is served. Um, vows are broken. There was some unforgiveness. So unforgiveness comes up behind the vows. And also behind that was health. Okay, And farm is behind that. So again, the horses are here. And that was the movie I watched last night was Horses and Heart Issues. Okay, so again, horses and heart issues. Not that the horses are causing the heart issues, but they're probably very helpful for people with heart issues. Maybe calming for both of them. But the breaking of the vows may have had to do with an unforgiveness between a couple and a breaking of a vows formally, all right? So it's, this is the upright of the two, but they came up this way. Okay. So for you, that came up as a positive thing, as in a love life, and that somebody may be leaving or travel, may or may not be you, maybe the, the couple that broke up. I'm getting the soul train. I'm 
getting leaving on a jet plane. So obviously some may be getting together and taking a trip together. But I always get like traveling salesmen when I see this picture because of the suitcase like that. I'm getting the old west. The wild west. So it's saying the same. The old, the wild west is now the old west. No longer. It's like saying the masculine, the feminine, the masculine is the wild child, right? That is no longer the case as we come closer to the middle on both sides. The journey of love. Journey of Love. Sorry, I know this read was a little bit scattered today. I don't know if it's just um, a little still healing. But I'm really having trouble talking, like getting words out today. It's some kind of a retrograde disruption. Okay. For everyone watching, take another deep breath. It's June 12, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Okay, we're asking St. Germain. St. Germain. Okay. Just a few to count. Just four again. So the Emperor twice. Um, Angel of Jupiter Awakenings at the bottom and six, so it's six again. We had two, four, and six. And now we have four and six again, but this is one this time. So now it's one, four, six, the Magician and the Emperor. I'll show you the other, the only, only one I'm going to read, the Essential Awakening, which is 64, which is the Ten of Swords. There's the end of the pain, the worst being over, and the Sensual Awakening. So actually, the sensuality is the, um, the pleasure in the release of the pain, right? And then we have the four cards that came up, and the Jupiter Awaken, which is the six. It's very olive -y. The Void came up, this number 40, which is the Page of Cups, which came up. That number came up in the read, and the Page of Cups. Ethereal Touch is 27, which is the Ace of Wands. Um, Guardian of the Soul Family, which is number 26, which is the Page of Wands that also came up in the read. Both of those came up. And then, uh, and then the King of Wands across the waters, which also came up, 23. There's a lot of um, green and oranges here, like three of the cards are all green and orange, or that... Um, Kind of a taupey color, a burnt orange. The only one that really doesn't match is the void. <laughs> the other three of these, I mean, two of them are really close, but also the underlying energy. Okay, so they're all very similar. Okay. It's like, um, the middle card is like a couple coming together, but either side looks kind of feminine. But the one looks um, angelic, etheric feminine. So it's like the masculine's angels are helping him come together with the feminine. 
into the void. Yeah. Because the fem in this one, it's like the feminine walking through the last linings of the void to come into the center. And then here are the um, the angels, or the etheric energies helping him out and to come into the void in the center as the couple. And then, you know, here we have the void, separate from that. Okay? So this is what the void looks like when there are no humans. And then this is what it looks like when there are. Okay? The difference in the energies. You see how much lighter it is when there's humans in there. And now I'm going to read to you Sensual Awakening, number 64. All right. Within the sacred temple of your body, your soul experiences the vast buffet of life made manifest. Your sensuality is a way for your soul to express appreciation, pleasure, and joy. Your sensuality is much like your creative energy. It needs to be expressed regularly, otherwise it can become muffled under a fuzz of too much thinking. You're being called to experience your sensual nature again. You are beautiful and vivid, striking and appealing. Allow your sensual appreciation for yourself and others to flow and enjoy this unique experience of being a soul awakening in a body awakening. It's all love. This oracle brings you guidance that your sensual nature needs to play and it doesn't require an external lover to do so. Although that is one way, of course. It can be expressed through massage, creative art, spending time in nature, swimming, dancing mindfully, feeling the sun or air on your skin, drinking aromatic tea or taking a bath, or going out in the middle of the creek in the rain with the shaman. Play with what feels good for you and enjoy the indulgence. It will bring you renewed energy, and apart from that, it's fun. Okay, and so this came up also for the masculine, because in the read, it came up that some masculines may have an issue with having a massage, which is something they need to get past, because it should be... It should, you know, should be pleasurable for them. It should be nice to have, not be something um, that's bad or feared, that kind of thing. The poem reads, I dare not touch my heart's desire that sings a melody so still and lights within a yearning fire a void that you alone can fill. I cannot say how my heart aches nor speak the words as embers burn. Such blessings come to those who wait, a love that asks not and return. An open soul a risk must bear, to love without restrictions held, to reach another level rare, where two embraced as one are meld. To taste surrenders nectar sweet by piercing through the veil so thin, and bathe in joy as tears release, a promised dance begins again. Okay. And remember, when it comes to unconditional love, it's unconditional. I was, I was listening to something and um, it brought up um, having to do with families, you know, what it means to be real family. You know, it's supposed to be loving, um, but it came up a situation where, you know, family requires you to be there every week for dinner on Sunday or something like that. And that's a condition, right? And not everyone needs to or wants to be in that place at that time every Sunday for the rest of their life. So, and that is limiting someone to their freedom. That's not love. So I just wanted to bring up that perspective because a lot of people may disagree with that. Um, but it's about being authentic to you, not authentic to what everyone expects of you. So I'm going to get going. I hope this was clear to you, helpful. Um, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. Have a great one, you guys, and rise and be loved. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, and don't get a cold. <laughs> but if you do, it's okay. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye. <clears throat>